Welcome to Cass's Kitchen, and we're going to talk kitten in Cass's Kitchen. So first thing I'm going to talk about is our weight shift. Um, so our stingers, you guys need to learn how to shift your weight. And we do that by picking up one foot and then picking up the other foot. So when you're in the box, okay, when you're getting ready and looking at the machine or the pitcher, you want to be able to pick up this foot and then pick up that foot to move your weight into the ball. So weight shift is as simple as not having two feet on the ground at the same time. We can get more in depth with this down the road, but for right now, it is simple as that. Keep one foot on the ground at all times. That remains, that allows you to keep your athleticism. Second piece, <clears throat> talking about the upper half. Okay, I wanna first talk about how to get the grip of the bat and then I'll talk about uh, the elbows. So when we wanna get the grip of the bat, we're gonna point the bat away from us and leave our hands out there and bring it to our shoulder. You'll notice this position, then we can just bring the hands in while leaving the elbows to carry the bat. Okay, so one more time, if we do this, okay, what it does is it loads our wrists properly. Okay, so go look at your favorite baseball player and they're all going to load their wrists. Go look at your favorite little leaguer and they're not going to load their wrists. Okay, we're going to want to load our wrists so we can create bat whip at the end. Okay, so the finish is going to look like this. Hitters will always load their wrists. Throwers, pitchers never make this happen. So when we throw, we always want to carry with what I tell the kids are claws or hooks. Okay, so the wrists are going to be in this hooked position when we carry to throw and when we are fielding. Okay, these are carrying positions. But when we go to hit, we're going to load those wrists. Point, set, bring them in. Okay, and then this allows us to naturally feel what it's like to carry the weight of the bat with the elbows. So it's at tonight's practice, we're going to be working on our weight shift and we're going to be working on swinging the bat with our elbows creating the line of force, making sure that I don't hit the things in Cass's kitchen. One more time, when we carry with our elbows, what we're doing is we're using the feeling of where our elbows are to establish the direction of the, uh, of the barrel. So this is the whole Tony Gwynn swing the knob, not the barrel, right? So how I would say that is I'm not going to swing with my hands. I'm going to swing from my elbows. Um, last thing while I have you, some big leaguers will swing from their shoulders. That's a lot more of a high level move and it has, uh, we need to understand the core to teach that. Um, so it's much more effective to teach athletes at a very young age. The fundamentals are going to come from the knees and the elbows. So we pick up that front knee, we pick up that back knee, we carry the weight in the elbows and we establish uh, that feeling uh, as a fundamental staple of what kids understand to be athletic. We call these hinge points, and I'm just saying that because we do have some reference points there. We know that doors hinge, so when we focus on the elbows and the knees, we have to have the hinges in the right direction for our body to want to be powerful and apply force. So, four minutes. Uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Let me know if you have any questions, but this is for the team, so please, I want to help, and uh, would love to hear from you. So, go Stingers. See you soon.